Hey guys, John here. As many of you guys probably already know, a while back I posted a video on my other channel showing you how to take a Foster's can and transform it into a homemade do-it-yourself cook pot. And the way we did that was by utilizing the top ring off of a tin can, essentially. And what that does is allows you the ability to cut the can down to any uh, height you desire, install the ring, and basically gives you structural integrity to the can. Uh, it was a pretty popular little mod, and of course what we used for that was a tuna fish can, and the project has since been dubbed the tuna can mod. I have no idea why, but anyway, all kidding aside, what I wanted to do today was to take that a step further and show you guys how to make a customized lid for that pot if you've decided to make one yourself. Now, what a lot of guys will do is take something, you know, just like a piece of tin foil and fashion a makeshift lid for your pot. And absolutely nothing wrong with that. It works great. Nice and lightweight, easy to find. Uh, you keep spare tin foil, you always got your lid. So uh, there's that. But what I wanted to show you, like I said, was how to make a customized lid, such as this one. And as you can see on this one, we are rocking the monster logo, which is cool. I don't know why, but I think it's cool. So uh, nice little lid we got going here. And uh, let's see if we can get a little close in. But like I said, it is just made out of a monster can. Uh, it's got a little wooden knob just for a nice little touch that I added there. And it fits uh, nice and secure on your little pot. Will not come off. Uh, and it's uh, really lightweight, so you really can't beat it. And what you can, what you do for this is just utilize any uh, aluminum can. It can be anything. Uh, we've got just an energy drink can here. It can be a soda can. Uh, pretty much anything. Anything you think's cool and want to make a lid out of something that's personal to you. And uh, you know the the possibilities are pretty much endless. You can also take it a step further and utilize a heavier gauge aluminum, such as on these uh, Budweiser aluminum uh, beer bottles, and uh, just gives you a little bit more. Uh, sturdiness to your lid um, you know it's basically a personal preference I kind of like these uh, aluminum can lids myself because they're just a little bit more lightweight and you know easy to replace uh, you know things like that so anyway let's get on to this little project here there's not going to be much to it so don't get too excited it's really simple all right to make yourself one of these customized lids the first thing that you're going to need is an aluminum can of course and the one that we've chose is just this orange Rockstar can. I think it's a pretty cool color and it should make a pretty cool lid. And what you're going to want to do is take some scissors and cut out the portion that you're going to use, uh, making sure that you have enough excess. All right, so what we have now is just a section of the can that is slightly larger than the opening on the Foster's can. And what I've done is taken this section and just ran it across the uh, edge of a countertop to kind of flatten it out a little bit, okay? So we're starting with that. Next, you're going to want to take a tuna fish can, yes, a tuna fish can, and simply center that wherever you're gonna want your lid and take a sharpie and holding that sharpie at a 90 degree angle around the can simply trace a line now that you have the circle traced on the can you're going to want to cut that out now that you have the circle cut from the portion of your aluminum can that you'll be using you'll simply take two tuna fish cans Set that circle directly in the center, place the second can on top, center that as well as you can, and simply press down. You're going to kind of want to work that around a little bit and get that pressed down as well as you can and as tight as you can. Okay, now that you have those pressed together nice and firmly, you're going to end up with a depression in the lip of the can which fits down inside the tuna ring, which ironically is the same thing that you use for your pot. So that's gonna fit down in there nice once you're done. Go ahead and place these two back together. I actually just took them apart to demonstrate that to you guys. Go ahead and take something like this uh, butter knife that I have here, you can use pretty much anything, and start working down the edge of that lip that extends out. 
Go ahead and work that down all the way around the edge of the can. Okay. Once you have that rolled over, go ahead and take the other end of your butter knife and just start working that edge down. You'll kind of get some of the wrinkles out of it and it'll get it nice and smooth around the lip of that edge. All right, well there we go. Let's see what we have here. Well, voila, there's our finished lid. Really simple, guys. Doesn't get much easier than that, right? And fits nice and secure right onto your Foster's pot. Uh, thing's not gonna come off. And that's really all there is to it. And like I had mentioned, if you wanna go ahead and install a knob, you can do so. Uh, you can use a thumbtack, something like that, or as I've done on this one, is simply a, a nice little wooden knob. But uh, really simple, guys. Not much to this one. The uh, possibilities are pretty much endless. Like I mentioned before, you can use any type of can you want. Uh, if you want to go with a little bit sturdier of a can, you can use something like uh, these aluminum beer bottles. That'll work too. It does require a little bit more pressure uh, between the two cans and a little bit for, uh, more finesse to get that one to work. But... Uh, anyway, you'll have to let me know what you come up with on this one, guys. Well, that's about all there is to it. Like I said, it's a pretty simple, straightforward little project here. Nothing really fancy at all. Uh, just one way to make a nice little customized lid for your do-it-yourself cook pot. And, uh, you know, keeps it all simple and free. So, anyway, hope you uh, DIY hacks out there enjoyed this one. And until next time, we'll be seeing you guys around.